the end of this month. Jane has spent 30 years working in public libraries from the Fort McMurray Public Library in Alberta to North York Public Library and eventually to the Toronto Public Library. She's worked in all aspects of library service, from behind the scenes in cataloging, to branch work, to developing collections and introducing new formats, to policy and planning, and eventually to chief librarian. She's been a member of numerous library organizational or organizations, provincial, national, and international, and has taught library technicians at Seneca College. Most recently, recently she has been a member of the Dean's Advisory Council at the Faculty of Information at the University of Toronto, Vice President of Canadiana.org, as well as a member of, as a member of TRIAC, Toronto Regional Immigrant Employment Council. During her time, Jane has, been, has seen public libraries transformed, of course, by what we were just talking about, technology. The introduction of computers in the mid-90s, the internet, which has transformed in, information delivery, e-books, e-magazines to borrow during the last few years, and the opening of the first digital innovation hubs at the Toronto Reference Library, and finally, Toronto's newest and 99th library at Fort York. At the same time, the public library under Jean's leadership has remained committed to lifelong learning of all ages, and most importantly, introducing children to books and the joy of reading, recognizing that this is the foundation to success and opportunity for the rest of their lives. That's the formal resume of the city librarian. As a colleague and part of the City of Toronto family of agencies and boards, and I will say publicly, that with some of the difficulties we've been discussing in council for the past few days, with maintaining strong working relationships between the city and agency board staff, Jane is the model of how to meet both the board's mandate as well as the plans and overarching city vision and strategic actions. Jane lived collaboration, cooperation, and Team Toronto daily. As a result, I know that your management and personal style will become the benchmark for your successor, as well as, I hope, all of our agencies and boards. Jane, enjoy your well-deserved freedom. <laughs> I know that you will continue in some fashion in the city of Toronto to make us a better place. From all your friends at the Toronto Public Service, thanks and enjoy your new ceremony this morning. Libraries are so tightly woven into the fabric of our lives here uh, in Toronto that I don't think that uh, any of us have, have been without an experience, uh, and a good one at that, uh, with the Toronto Library System. For myself, and I'm sure for many people, it was sitting at the foot of a librarian as she read a story. Later uh, in high school, uh, maybe late primary school, go to the library to do a bit of research, maybe uh, for the first time reading uh, uh, novels, young adult uh, fiction, uh, university, uh, preparing our, for our essays, and uh, at college, I can remember the thrill of getting a pass to the staff. Uh, later on, uh, when you become uh, a family, uh, when you create a family, uh, you, be, you take your children there. Um, you buy, you get your uh, adult novels, uh, the biographies of politicians and, uh, and <laughs> leaders. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, later on in life, you know, as a senior, it's a wonderful place to use as a community center. They, they've evolved uh, over time. And uh, Jane, you've been, a, uh, you and your staff and the board have been instrumental in reshaping the library to meet the continuing challenges that uh, we all face in a world that is changing in an unprecedented uh, speed. So formally, if I may read this uh, to you, Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly and members of Toronto City Council extend congratulations and appreciation to Jane Piper for your outstanding contributions to the Toronto Public Library. Your hard work and commitment to the Toronto Public Library has shaped it into a wonderful repository of information and education. Under your leadership, the library has made incredible progress with e-books, e-magazines, wireless internet, and access to literary and cultural programming that plays a significant role in enhancing and furthering Toronto Public Library's role as a cultural and creative destination. See, that paragraph alone tells me that you were very, very busy. The introduction of the Ready for Reading services has strengthened children's services with a goal to encourage and foster an early love of books and reading. We thank you for your commitment to the vision and reality of a successful and great library that continues to serve our city and its people. On behalf of Toronto City Council, thank you for your valuable contributions and we all wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Could I, could I invite members of council who, have, who are presently serving and or have served on the library board in the past to join me in this presentation. Speaker, if I may, I'd like to invite uh, Councillor Davis to uh, say a few words. I believe that she's the longest serving member of Council on the Library Board. I think I speak uh, on behalf of every single councillor here when I say that we are going to miss Jane Piper. Um, and I also think it's extremely appropriate to follow on the Intelligent Cities Awards because not only uh, do I believe that our city has won this award because of our libraries, I think it's also because of the intelligence, the caring, uh, the uh, commitment and innovation that Jane Piper has brought to the library that has made it the best library system in the world that we should all be proud of. And I would just echo what has been said earlier about being partners with the city. We have worked as a library on the senior strategy, the middle childhood strategy, uh, the newcomer strategy. The library is always there to commit to building this city. Because Jane and all her team, and I want to acknowledge the senior team are, who are here, and I'm sure Jane will, but um, it is because Jane and our library believe in this city and that cities are part, and that libraries are an absolutely fundamental component of all of our neighborhoods. You turn and look to your local library and you see that is where life and vitality 
and welcoming happens in our city. And I think the library exemplifies our motto that diversity is our strength and that we are a welcoming and inclusive city. And Jane has believed, exemplified it, lived it. I know that, Jane, you love the city. And when I was involved in uh, the selection the first time, it was Jane's passion about this city that came out so much, uh, not just in her um, interview for the job, but in every day that she was on the job. So we will miss you, Jane. Um, you've provided such incredible leadership, passion, compassion, and uh, we will continue, I'm sure, to see the leadership from this library because those values are embedded in this library system in all hundred and what hundred branches now. Uh, soon to be a hundred and one. You're the hundred in the city of Toronto. Thank you again, Jane. You'll be greatly missed. kind words and I would like to start by thanking Joe and all the city colleagues that I've worked with over the years. It's been mostly fun and uh, I've appreciated all the support. Um, I'd also like to thank all of the councillors who have chosen to put their names forward and to serve on the library board and in particular I'd like to thank the ones that are serving right now on the board and that includes councillors Paul Ainsley, Sarah Doucette, Janet Davis, Cesar Palacio and Jay Robinson. It's been a pleasure to work with all of you. And I also would just like to acknowledge the board chair, Mike Fodrick, who came down this morning to, uh, to be part of this, and I appreciate his uh, time. So Joe told me that this is when public servants share their political views with, isn't that right, Joe? Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what happens now. So this is what I want to say about uh, libraries and politics. <laughs> what I want to say is that, this is what strikes me, if you're on sort of the left side of the political spectrum, then I think public libraries strike you as a wonderful thing. Here they are. They're a collective resource, freely shared. Books borrowed and returned on the honor system. Why? For the good of all. Why, it's practically socialism. On the other hand, if you're on the right, library resources are a hand up, not a handout. They are a modest contribution which allows men and women to make a commitment to improve their own lives. Something that Andrew Carnegie, one of the greatest capitalists of all, could get behind. In fact, he said, a library gives nothing for nothing. There must be an effort made before there is a result achieved. And I think that is a paradox and yet true. And that is the beauty and mystery of the public library. It is an institution in which everyone can find themselves where possibility and opportunity are found for individuals and communities, and it is why we and I and all of my senior team are so attached to it. The Toronto Public Library is a great institution. It has an illustrious history. It has a bright future. It's been a privilege to work for it, and I leave it in your good hands. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jane. Okay, members.